Hey Kylie here, so I just wanted to show this is my large frame lock and this is the first slip joint that I've made up. I just want to show the size difference between them. This has actually got the body size of the small frame lock that I did. When you actually look at length and things, you can see it's just a bit shorter. Let me line these up. So when that's lined up there, just a bit shorter. Similar to how the small one was, but these are much thicker of course because they intend to have a nice full body grip to them but the difference is with the way i designed this one this has got the same edge length as this one does which is about three inch even though it's a three and a half inch blade because it has all of this finger relief here keep the thumb stud out of the way and everything uh, it only has a three inch cutting length now this one obviously i can't open one-handed easily so I am not at all. I'm just going to put this in between my knees and pop that open because I have no tripod I'm at Ashley's karate class so you know when you line up the heel there it's quite a bit shorter but if you line up the edges they're pretty much the same and I really like this design for a lot of reasons. Uh, I like the blade shape, the point. Uh, this has got a lean curve without much belly, which I find better for utility work if I'm not a hunter. I'll just pop that out of the way. And there's a lot of things I like about this handle. One, it's fairly smooth, so it's easy to grip. It's fairly blocky but rounded. And that gives you a very solid grip. But there's enough rounding for comfort and it's not going to slip laterally in your hand uh, it gives you a good traction in there it fits a decent size hand like mine quite well it'll fit a small hand as well and the way this curves and widens up is designed to let you get a very good grip up close to the edge like so so you got a very nice choke up there and it tucks in nicely in reverse as well and you can get quite close to the blade you can uh, hold it very nicely like this with some nice control and it came out fairly nice I mean this one's got some flaws in it because I don't have the surface grinding facility yet and I just hand thinned the spring down because the different sizes and it's not perfect and it's still a bit wide in certain areas which means that when you tighten this down, it's either going to pinch or be too wide on one side or the other. But uh, it's got a half stop, but it's not a full half stop. It's not a 90 degree half stop, because that would chop your finger. <sighs> Let me try and open that up again. So, if you're holding it in this grip, you might still get a bite. But if you're even slightly down and it slips... It's going to get you like that, but your skin's got good resistance and not going to hurt you too badly. So someone else on a phone call. So you got the half stop, and uh, although you can let these spring down and slam and hear that nice thwack, it's not actually a good idea. Especially this is not a classic slip joint design, and to get that blade into this body, it rides very close to the back spacer, and it doesn't have a high stop point on here so if you let it slam shut it's quite easy with the speed for it to overswing slam the back spacer and give you a dull spot here but i'll do it just once so you can see how it works like so and uh but in reality how you want to be doing it between my knees again is to just nicely close it like that be a gentleman about it and then you're not going to bang the blade up and uh, so yeah no it's come out really nice I'm very happy with it and uh, originally I had some issues with this one where it was actually gouging the bottom of the spring even though everything was polished it was still managing to gouge the spring and I finally resolved that to be the fact that there was simply too much spring pressure on this spring steel once hardened and the amount of pressure was putting too much force on the pivot for a start so it wasn't rotating nicely uh, but it was just simply too much pressure for the two 
different steels to take in contact. So once I lighten the spring up, it's now got a very springy action, quite nice. And it's not a super high resistance, but it's got a nice feedback there to about that point. And uh, you know, you treat it like a friction folder, it's not a locking knife. You always cut that way. You don't tend to stab and pry things because it's going to fold on you. But you do have the half stop anyway. So, uh, yeah. This is how they've come out. The pricing is going to be about uh, 400 NZ on the first batch. We'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching.